So here I am demonstrating how lightweight Langton's Retreat is. Don't try this at home. I'm even lifting it with just one hand just to show that it is a very lightweight layout. Now I've decided to hide the join on the inside of the tunnel because when you look through the tunnel you could see light coming through this join. So I did this by putting some gaffer tape where the join is and then painting that grey. Now at this point the gaffer tape silver but once it's painted grey it hides that gap nicely. So here is the layout ready for adding some scatter. Now scatter material is the grass and the gravel. First of all I decided, oh my signal box needed to go where this little hillock was. So the hillock is now being repositioned. Perhaps I'll put it in the lake. I'm not sure yet. I'll worry about that another day. So the first area I wanted to add scatter to was in between the tracks. This is the most important scatter so I do that first. And I'm using Gauge Master GM114 which is exactly the same size gravel as what's on the ballasted foam. And you can get GM115 which is N-gauge ballast and that's quite good for small branch lines but the main lines and the like I use GM114. Now I converted a salt container as a sprinkler so that I could sprinkle my gravel, I tip it in. I had to cut a little hole because I couldn't actually get the lid off the salt container so I did it this way and then you gaffer tape over it to seal it and you've got a choice of holes you can sprinkle out of and this seemed to go quite well but you can use a sieve, a tea strainer or just sprinkle from a bag even. Now I've put down neat PVA glue and I'm sprinkling straight on top of that but if you tip that up some of it will come off so you get it into position with a cosmetic brush or a nice soft brush and here I am doing some more neat PVA and some more gravel and then eventually I'm going to go over this with a PVA water mix. Meanwhile I run out of some of the GM114 gravel so I used a hoover with a sock over the end of it just to collect some of the gravel so I got some more back and here it is in the sock and that enabled me to finish adding the gravel to the area I needed to. Now by the lake, the car park area, this is going to be a different sort of gravel so I used a different colour gravel for this and I mixed other shades of gravel over the top of it just to add variation. I've also stuck down the three buildings. The hillock here I've made a bit smaller and painted some black on it just to add some weathering. This is the main hill now that I've stuck some white PVA glue onto, neat, and then I'm sprinkling it with green grass then spraying that with water and now adding a PVA water mix which is 50-50 with a couple of drops of detergent in it. That just helps seal down any loose pieces. And I'm doing the same here with the PVA water mix and just a couple of drops of detergent that was in that bowl in the foreground. I just fringe it up and then gently squirt it on and that seeps through all of the gravel and grass and scatter that I've used and just totally soaks it all. It's very wet at this stage and you need to leave it overnight. So there is all the scatter added.